Are you thinking about moving to St. Augustine, Florida and you're super excited, but you're a little hesitant because you don't wanna be taken advantage of or overpay on a house? Well, perfect, you're in the right place. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to negotiate the best deal when buying a house and make sure you don't leave any money on the table. As we're looking towards the third and fourth quarter of 2024, there's things happening in the housing market, the overall economy and political environment. The latest stats hot off the press for single family homes in St. Augustine is that year over year, prices have only inched up 1%. Days on market for how long it's taking for a home to go under contract has really climbed 43%. And the inventory of homes, which is the amount of homes total for sale currently, compared to the same time last year, has skyrocketed 76%. All the meanwhile, new pending contracts has dropped 13%. So what does all this mean? Well, it means that the power is shifting to buyers. So if you're possibly in the market to buy a home here in St. Augustine and St. John's County, we're gonna talk about how you can negotiate the best deal. Well, if this is your first time meeting me, my name is Josh Rogers, and I'm the team leader for the F3 Home Team, which stands for Faith, Family, and Freedom. For those of you that have watched me before, your family. We get each other. Thanks for hanging with me. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to leverage this market in favor of buyers so you can get the best deal, a home that you love, and make sure you don't leave any money on the table. I'll also share why I believe the end of 2024 may be the perfect storm for home buyers. All right, let's jump into it. Let's set the stage for the overall market dynamics of supply versus demand. Now, supply refers to sellers. These are people that have homes and want to sell their homes and also new home builders. So you have the sellers on one side and then you have the buyers who either want to buy a resale home, build a home from dirt or buy an existing new construction home that's finished. You have the supply versus demand and that drives everything in a free and open market. Each are on the side of a scale and depending on where one is, that affects the other. Well, actually, let's go back. Over the past three years after COVID, supply was incredibly low and there were a ton of buyers that wanted to enter the market and move for all the reasons that they want to move. Whoever has more weight on the scale is the one with the power. The sellers had the power over the past three years. Well, what we're seeing right now is that supply is beginning to inch up and there's fewer buyers, which means less demand. Now this has more weight. Supply is higher fewer buyers, less demand. So that means the buyers have the power. And just a quick note, when I say power, I mean that things are in favor of them. It's positive for the buyers. You'll often hear this compared between a buyer's market or a seller's market. So from 2020 to middle of 2023, it was an insane seller's market. They had all the power and they, that's when you heard stories about them getting $100,000 over their list price. Well, the key factor that now has tipped that scale in favor of buyers are the interest rates over the past 18 months. Interest rates have more than doubled and that means the affordability for buyers has really tightened up. A lot of the buyers have left the market and decided to wait and pause. The demand has now dropped and you see that inventory of supply skyrocketing 76% compared to the same time last year. So now let's jump into five factors I believe are favorable for buyers through the end of 2024. Well, first and foremost, interest rates have started to drop. The Fed has given us a clear signal that they fully intend to lower interest rates. This is going to make it far more affordable for buyers to be able to buy more of a home. And a lot of people have been waiting for the past 18 months, sitting on the sidelines, waiting for these rate drops. So this is going to save you more money and allow you to buy more homes. Second, the seasonality of the year generally puts more pressure on sellers in certain seasons, specifically leading into the winter and holiday season. Generally speaking, there's fewer buyers that are looking to make a decision and move throughout the winter and the holidays. Therefore, it puts more pressure on sellers. Sellers get anxious, they get annoyed, they get frustrated, and sometimes they get desperate. And so sellers sometimes have to lower their prices. This is definitely favorable for buyers. The third factor is competition. Now this refers to inventory or the supply of homes available for sale. It's skyrocketed 76% compared to the same time last year. That means there's more options for buyers. So buyers can be picky. They can cherry pick the best home that meets their needs. They don't have to settle. 
This also means that the sellers have more competition among one another. More competition is really healthy for a market, and that often means that there's downward pressure on pricing. So whoever wants to sell the most is gonna lower the price on their home or give the best deal. Also, let me hit a timeout real quick because when I talk about that inventory and supply of homes of 76% year over year, that's actually not completely accurate. And the reason I say that is because there's so many new construction homes here in Sounds County in St. Augustine, and the home builders don't actually enter their inventory in MLS. This is just data that we're pulling from the multiple listing service, but I believe the actual realistic inventory and supply of homes is nearly 30 to 40% greater than the numbers we see. My real estate team and I personally know many home builders that have 50, 60, 70, or 100 inventory homes that are near completing being built and it's not reflected in the data. This actually is really tough for home sellers because now they're competing against all these beautiful new construction homes that these builders are building with an influx of inventory. So the fourth factor that's in favor of buyers is overall timing. Now, as we lead into the end of the year, timing is significant for this purpose. So many of the national home builders end of their fiscal year lands on a October, November or December and leading into closing out their fiscal year for the shareholders and equity partners and stockholders, they're really looking to sell as many homes as possible, especially all this finished inventory that I was referring to. Builders just wanna hit their numbers and they'll do whatever it takes to sell these homes. And that means buyers can get some awesome deals. And then the fifth factor I believe is in favor of buyers is right now there's a lot of uncertainty in the macroeconomics and the political environment. So after the election in November, a lot of the political drama and media will quiet down a little. And I believe the market and buyers will have a better sense of direction and move on with their life. Can we cue the intercom voice? Attention, home buyers in St. Augustine. Did you know that we have an active, thriving Facebook group? It's called Moving to St. Augustine, Florida. The link is in the description below. And this is a wonderful time to communicate and ask questions with other families and other people all over the country that have the same plans and same goals and same questions that you have. And so it's a wonderful community where you can connect, meet, and hear about the local lifestyle and the truth of what it's really like to live in St. Augustine, Florida. Time to get into the juicy stuff. I'm gonna walk you through the five level offer with the Hulk smash. The Hulk smash is everything. I know it's kind of cheesy, but actually it's really cool. And it completely changes the dynamic of how you present an offer, especially with new construction, it makes all the difference. The five components that can be dialed up or down with an offer include the price, interest rates, closing costs, HOA fees, CDD fees, and then also perks and add-ons. We're gonna break each of these down together, but I have to say awesome. from getting a wonderful home that's great for you and your family because you let pride and ego get caught up in the emotions of negotiation and miss out on what really matters most. Remember, real estate is hyper local. There's microeconomic nuances at play. And so while I'm about to give you a lot of offer options, I don't want you to think that this is guaranteed across the board. If you're looking in a community that has really high sales and high demand and it's just on fire, then you may end up paying less price and not getting any type of negotiations. The goal here is to get a home that's right for you, that serves your family, that you're going to build a life in and have memories. It's your place of peace. And we definitely wanna make sure that you get a fair deal and not overpay. So as you go into the offer process, please be aware to guard those emotions and make sure you don't cut off your nose to spite your face or throw the baby out with the bathwater. Now that we checked ourselves, let's jump into the different components of the offer. First, it's price. Now there's three components of price. There's the house price, there's the options and upgrades pricing, and then there's also for the lot premium. Each of these are negotiable and it shows up in different categories and the builder's accounting. So you may consider, instead of just focusing on the overall price, you may break it down and make a lower offer on the price of the house, but then also ask the builder to waive the lot fee. Some of these lot fees are five grand, 10 grand, $25,000. So that's a great way, a great angle to adjust that price. Depending on how motivated the builder is to sell homes, you may ask them to give you a break on some of the options like upgraded countertops or cabinets or flooring. The second component that moves the needle in a major way are the interest rates. Really cool working with builders because these are multi, multi million dollar national companies and they have a lot of firepower to give you a good deal. 
I would absolutely encourage you to ask the builder to buy down your interest rate. So for instance, right now, if market rates are around six and a half percent, team has been helping customers get rates down in the fives and also down in the fours. Some they have access to money that they bought in bulk at a lower interest rate as a way to incentivize buyers to buy their homes. Now, the third component of an offer are closing costs and prepaids. These are all the fees associated with buying a home. Now, it's kind of tricky whenever you're working with new construction because generally speaking, in just the residential market, buyers and sellers, there's customary buyer cost and customary seller cost. Well, the way these builders work is they take all of the closing costs and they just batch them together. And then they offer sometimes incentives that say, hey, we will pay $7,000 towards closing cost or $10,000. Well, what we want to do is ask them to pay all the closing costs. And if you're wondering what closing costs are, well, just think of it as fees. It's the cost of buying a home. So title closing fees, mortgage lender fees, tax and county fees and transfer taxes. And then you also have prepaids. Prepaids are taxes and prepaid insurance. Everyone has to pay prepaids. If you find yourself in that perfect storm situation where the seller is incredibly motivated, you can also ask them to pay your prepaids. And so what would be the equivalent of 10, 12, $15,000 of real money? It's not monopoly money. It's not packaged in a 30 year loan. It's real money that would come out of your pocket. Some of these builders will actually cover all of it. That saves you cash. So then you can blow it on your furniture in your new house. Well, a fourth component of a possible offer are HOA and CDD fees. Again, this is timing specific, builder specific, and community specific, but our real estate team has helped some of our buyers get the first year or two of their HOA fees completely paid off. And finally, the fifth component of a possible offer are perks or add-ons. And think of something that they can throw in just to sweeten the deal. It's like the icing on the cake. Now, some common asks would be, hey, will you add a fence to fence in my backyard, which is the equivalent of $10,000. Or maybe even, hey, will you go ahead and just screen in the lanai? Or if blinds are not included, can you just add those for me? I will say one of the most amazing perks that I've seen is a builder including a free pool with the purchase of a new home. And it's completely legit. We've helped so many families take advantage of that. And man, talk about a perk in the state of Florida. I don't know if it gets any better than that. Ultimately, we take the approach that it doesn't hurt to ask. And if you don't ask, the answer is automatically no. Again, just remember to manage your expectations because they may say no to your entire list. But if it's the right home for you at a fair price, then you should buy it. Now that we have the five components of a possible offer, next we're going to talk about is which should you focus on and where is going to be your biggest bang for the buck. But first, we got to talk about the Hulk smash. Don't forget the Hulk smash. It's everything. The Hulk smash is actually how you package and present the offer to the seller. There's a right way to do this and there's a wrong way to do this. And if you do it the right way, it completely takes the pressure and the stress off of you and you're not combative with the seller. So let's jump into. Oh, wait a second. I'm getting a phone call. Hello. We're about to talk about the Hulk smash, packaging and presenting the offer, the, the game changer. You can have the five components, but if you don't deliver it the Hulk smash way, then you really have no leverage. I'm going to tell them right now. What? You're right. They're not going to like it. Oh, oh, that's a good plan. All right. Oh, well, thanks. So I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is I can't tell you what the Hulk smash is. And very simply, it just logically makes sense is because a lot of our home builder friends watch these videos and basically we're just giving away our strategy to our the people we're trying to negotiate against and then secondly a lot of real estate agents watch these videos and so this is a strategy that our team and i have formulated that gets results and so if i were just to give it out here publicly on youtube then that means our competition and the people we're negotiating against would have full access to it. So it's just not something I can do. I hope it makes sense. Please don't be annoyed. You're probably annoyed. Don't be annoyed because this is what you can do. Send us a quick text. The information is below. Kick us a quick text. My team and I monitor this. We get texts every day from families all over the country, much like yourself that have the same goals and have the same reasons that they're moving to the areas. So just kick over a quick text and we'll give you the play of how to package and present an offer to get results.
So many people watch these videos and it's awesome to connect with you because then we can find out what your goals are and what you're looking for and then help point you in the right direction. That way you're not trying to do all the research on your own from out of state or out of town. There's different vibes and dynamics in play in different communities. And so based on what's important to you, we can share with you things that are just so hard to try to find online. My hope and goal is through these videos and this time together that we're establishing trust and you feel comfortable just to take a few seconds to kick over a quick message to us. All right, so let's jump back into the different offer components that matter most. And basically it's just three categories. First, there's cash, there's monthly payments, and then there's home comforts and luxuries. Depending on your situation, that will lead you to one of the three categories. If you want to save cash out of your pocket, that means, hey, I'm tight on funds or I want to save my cash to buy stuff for my new home or pay off bills. Then I would highly recommend leaning into asking and offering for the builder to cover all your closing costs and all your prepaids. That's going to save you cold, hard cash. Now, if you fall in the second category where monthly payments are incredibly important to you, then you'll want to focus on a lower interest rate that by far is going to have the biggest impact on your monthly payments and you make an offer for them to buy down your interest rate and whatever the rate they give you, don't be afraid to ask for a lower rate. See, here's the thing. Many buyers become obsessed with the purchase price and it's so simple just to see one number go up or down. Get this $10,000 less on a price at about $500,000, 7% interest rate would save you about $70 per month. $10,000 price discount saves you $70 per month. Now you take the same price and lower the interest rate by one percentage point that saves you nearly $300 per month. One percentage point less, $300 a month. So if monthly payments is important to you, it's far more powerful to go for the lower rate. Now, if you fall in the third category, which is home comfort and luxuries, then you'll want to go for the options, upgrades, and the perks. Ask for a new pool. Now you may pay full price. You may not get closing costs, but you'll get a new pool. Ask for the screened in lanai and the, and the fenced yard. This is nice because it gives you immediate enjoyment and better lifestyle, and you don't have to deal with the hassle of adding that stuff yourself afterwards. Using all these strategies and delivering it and packaging it with the Hulk smash is how our team helps our customers through the process to really win and get the best home that serves their family's needs and goals and make sure that they're getting the best deal. The next video you may want to watch, and it's helped a lot of our customers, are the top five buyer mistakes families make with new construction that they don't even realize until it's too late. It's a great life. Faith, family, and freedom.